so it's been a while since I made a YouTube video mainly because I've been doing mostly hunting and it's really hard to self film solo hunts at least in my opinion um, I'm just really not set up for it um, I kind of can't use my GoPro right now because the computer is down and I can't really I, I can't edit or do anything with the GoPro footage so it's pointless to even use it I'm trying to self film with a phone and call and use the gun duck hunting and goose hunting specifically but it's I have a big problem trying to manage that so I've been neglecting YouTube making little funny informational if you will discussion type TikToks and I know I've gotten some more YouTube subscribers since that stuff has started taking off so I figured you know since this little segment is going to be longer than TikTok allows I put this film this and do this on TikTok or not TikTok on YouTube um so anywho we're out scouting it's Sunday here in PA you can't hunt waterfowl on Sundays no matter what we have started allowing some Sunday hunting here recently but waterfowl is not on the list yet um so you know if I can't hunt them with a gun I figure Sunday here I have time I didn't have time to really hunt yesterday being Saturday I'm working full time first shift this part of the year I don't get a whole lot of good hunts like when I do they're quick because it's like an evening hunt or it's in the morning and it's hard to like you know filming while I'm like hunting sometimes I'm like I just don't want to do it because like I'm trying to enjoy that time like that's my quality time I'm sure a lot of you like sportsmen out there can relate to that. Um, but yeah, so today I'm out scouting. There they are. There they are. Obviously where I can't hunt them. baby of course the x is in somebody's backyard yeah can't hunt there i know because there's people old. i knew i'm actually happy i see them there because i haven't seen them there in a while they've been gone and i've been seeing big flocks of the geese geese comes back in tomorrow because um it goes out here in pa for rifle season rifle deer season they don't want us hunters in the field in camo while people are you know, if it's brown, it's down. It gets kind of crazy out here in PA for deer. Um, but um, those geese haven't been on that pond. They weren't there back whenever geese was still in for the early parts of it and stuff. Um, I'm surprised there's no ducks sitting in there with them too. Because usually there's a handful of mallards at least sitting in there. Um, and those aren't the bigger geese that I normally see in there. But that, to me, is a good sign. That means we got birds migrating through right now. Um, I'm saying I'm a lot. Random thought. Oh. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Anyways. So, back to on topic. That pond is actually in between a couple spots that I do have to hunt. And, like I said, those aren't the bigger geese that I normally see sitting there. So, that means migrating so that means I might have a shot pulling in some traffic on one of the properties I do have and I'm out here trying to get some more um, but yeah that shows that hey I do know how to locate some birds I guess but unfortunately here in my area that's the problem right there you'll find the X but the X is like somebody's backyard or like it's in the middle of a safety zone it's just unhuntable um, so with that being said, you, you, it's hard to hunt the X around here. You get lucky sometimes and you'll find like a good feed field that isn't like in a safety zone. And if you're lucky, if no one else is hunting it and you might have a cool property owner to let you hunt, 
I've had that work out a couple places so far but other times I'll find I'm, I'm literally looking at geese talking to the farmer and the farmer's talking about how much he hates the geese and I'm like well can I set up and uh, take care of that for you and he's like nah 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 what like you don't want them there you hate them but you don't want them killed I don't get it like but you know I can't I'm obviously it's their decision so I can't stand there and be like what? you know I gotta just take that to the chin and be like all right good luck with them you know um that's I don't know that's a big problem around here and a lot of the problem is it isn't that they don't want them shot they don't want them hunting they don't it's a matter of they've left other hunters come in and hunt and they've just disrespected their property, you know? And that happens a lot around here. Or, you know, they'll let one guy hunt. That one guy will invite his buddy who invites another buddy or something random like that. And then the people that don't have permission there will come back again with a bunch of guys that they bring in without permission thinking like oh well i know so and so and he has permission so i'm gonna go in there so the farmer the farmers are basically like if i allow one guy to hunt i lose control over who hunts so they don't allow people to hunt and then you know i, I can't even be mad at them like me personally i would feel the same way and you got the guy the farmers that they want the use they they want them hunted they want them out of there but they hunt deer, or their boy hunts deer, their nephews, whatever, and they don't want you in there because they're afraid you're going to mess up those guys' deer hunting. Valid. Checks out. But now, like today, well, I can't say deer season's over because we still got blade archery and flintlock, but, you know. It's just, you know... The one property I hunt right now, I know there's another couple of guys that deer hunt it. Well, they archery hunt it. But, like, I've had the mutual respect for them since I started hunting it to where, like, if I pull up and I see another vehicle, I know I'm the only one goose or duck hunting it. But, at the same time, if I know they're in there deer hunting it, I'm not going to go in there and start setting de goose decoys, hollering on the goose decoy. I'm not going to walk in there and sit down on the end, edge of the creek calling on a duck call with a bunch of plastic ducks out there because like i don't manage my scent bird hunting like hunting these birds like there's no reason to like worry about my scent and stuff but i know that my scent being in there is going to mess up the deer hunting for that guy respect i respect them and like i'm kind of getting into a rant here with this now we're eight minutes deep and i'm on a rant um and I don't mean it to be a rant. I'm just like, you know, kind of just discussion stuff, I guess. But what I'm trying to say here is like, as waterfowl hunters, I feel like if we would respect more of the other hunters, maybe they'd start, well, no, I can't even say that because it doesn't work that way. I was going to say maybe they'll respect us more and we'll get more permission and stuff. But I know that that's not the case because... This ain't even, like, I'm not trying to stereotype it or nothing, but there's just a lot of guys out there that feel like, oh, I have permission to do this on this property. So that entitles me to get irritated and start a fight with some other guy who got permission to hunt something else on this property because I feel he's hunting, he's messing up my hunting on this property. Like, and at the same time, I get that. I understand. Like, I get that debate. But, like... The guy that's bow hunting and where I duck hunt and stuff. Like, me and him, like, we actually, I went in on a Saturday to set up a blind. And he just happened to be driving down through that way with his girlfriend. And he stopped and he was like, yo. And I was like, what's up? Like, you know. And he was like, you're the one goose hunting down in here. And I was like, yeah. And he was like, he told me, I hey, I pulled up the other evening. And I seen your truck, and then I heard you down in there on the calls, and I was like, eh, I'll let him have it. I was like, oh, man, I appreciate that. I think the same thing happened the other 
night I pulled in I seen your vehicle sitting here and I figured you were in here deer hunting so I was like eh take the night off from hunting like I just won't hunt tonight uh, and his reaction was like don't worry about it, man like if I'm in there uh, deer hunting and you go set up and you pull a big flock of geese in, I watch you land some, that's gonna be cool. Like, I kinda like just come over and like join in. And I was like, bro, just hit me up. Like, I'm on social media all over the place. Like, just send me a message, bro. Like, I'll put you on some birds. I'll bring you, well, I can't say I'll put you on some birds, but I'll definitely like set up and we can try. Like, I'm all for including whoever. Like, and he was like, I'll to keep that in mind. I was like, man, you gonna be in here for the next little bit of deer season? Like, what's up? What's your plans in here? Like, so I know, like, and like, I'll let you go in there. Like, I ain't trying to mess up your deer hunting because that's your meat, you know? That's your thing. He was like, no, I killed one. I killed a doe a couple weeks ago. I'm gonna save my tag, you know, and I'm not gonna hunt rifle season in there, you know? long story short we like basically were able to work it out and you know we were cool to each other and like that's what this stuff's about like I grew up with like such like the camaraderie the the shared passion of this whole thing like that's what I love and like I honestly miss hunting with people more than what I do I do have a couple guys that come out and hunt with me but they haven't the past couple weeks because it's been deer season. And hey, that's nothing. I'm not complaining. I'm not going to bash them for deer hunting. Because normally I take off too from the birds to deer hunt. But I just ain't doing it this year. It's just... It's not for me. I like this better. Um, and it's just what it is. Uh, me making a scouting video just like turned into me making a rant video I hate whenever that happens but it happens a good bit anyways as I've been driving around ranching I'm still not seeing any other birds uh, I was kind of coming down this way to look through some of these I should have showed you that rant um, there's little farm streams and like a little wetlands area back there and some of the guys I hunt with have permission on that other property and I try to buzz it to tell them, like, hey, you got birds sitting in there. What's up with it? Because usually if I scout it out and tell them, like, hey, that's happening there, they're like, well, let's go hunting. So, you know. And, like, that's another thing you can do to help out your buddies, too. Like, and help out each other. Like, if you know your homeboys hunting, like, got property somewhere, respect that that's their property. But if you drive by it and, like, see, like, hey, you got you got that going on in there like maybe they haven't scouted it lately or they don't know and they'll be like yo thank you you know thank you for doing that scouting let's go hunting like you know what I mean just little things like that we can help out each other you know um for the guys that do follow me on tiktok and have been cheering me on and rooting me on and supporting me with that I absolutely love you guys like you don't know how much that means to me to have y'all support um i got some haters on there that judge me for my appearance and everything and accuse me to still be doing dumb shit that i used to be doing just off my appearance um and it bothers me greatly it upsets me and i really need to work on that like just realize like they're nobody to me um but, I don't know, it hurts my feelings because, like, why they gotta be like that, you know? That's a totally different subject. I don't want to start that right yet. Um, hey, there's sheep out in that field. That's pretty cool. There ain't nothing on the outskirts. I'm headed right now down in here. This is public land that I'm driving to. Um, it's not good waterfowl public land but I have well I mean I can't say that because there are geese that fly out here pretty regular um part of the problem is I'm scouting on kind of a crappy day to be scouting at the wrong time of day to be scouting but I gotta work with what I got that's
that's my other struggle in all this. It's really hard pursuing this kind of hobby, being the primary income, working full time, and supporting a family, and then trying to also fund this stuff. Like, I do my best because, like, I love it. And, like, the this part, like, the filming and the TikTok, YouTube, Instagram, all of that is just a byproduct that, like, originally was just, like, me doing it out of boredom. Just kind of, like, as a video log for myself, like, to look back at. And now I got people watching and everything and supporting me. That's what I'm saying. Like, the, the people that support me, honestly, y'all motivate me so much more. To do more of this stuff and it pains me to not be able to afford to uh, do it more like I want I want to show y'all your support means something to me like I don't really know how to explain how to how I plan to do that now that I say that like other than like trying to bring y'all more content and more footage I don't know how to provide y'all and to it's it's literally I've been having this moral dilemma and at this point this video is just kind of turning into me talking that out and thinking that out loud like I'm really I, I'm not a professional I will at no point claim to be a professional, an expert, any of that. I literally just, like, try to do my best. I try to think through the whole situation. I do the scouting. All of my success comes from scouting. Like, it's just that simple. Um, the turkeys I've killed, ducks I've killed, everything. It's all come from scouting. Like, if I do enough scouting, it happens. But, you know, and with that being said, I don't have to be awesome on a call if I do enough scouting. All I need to do is be in the right place at the right time, give them something that sounds close to what they think they want to hear, and make it look good. And you can kill birds. Like, you can kill birds and not be the best caller, not have the best decoys, You, if you know where they're at. Like... I will say that when it comes to that, I won't call myself an expert, but I have enough experience to know you don't get good at this by what you're using or like, you know, you could be the world's best caller. If you ain't got birds to call in, you ain't killing no birds. Sometimes that's my problem around here. Like sometimes I just don't have birds, you know, they're just not here. Um, and... I can't really afford to really travel to hunt. I mean, I can go. It's about. What is it? I've, I've checked it before. It's like an hour and 15 minutes. Or like an hour and 40 minutes. Depending on which way I take and where I go. Towards the river. Uh, any of the rivers. Like um, the Juniata, the Susquehanna. There's birds out there. Like I know. Like I've seen them. But I don't really. I can't go up there and scout because I ain't got the funds like for gas money um, to really hunt it I would almost have to go up and like get a hotel room the night before and then get in there and set up and like I don't have the funds for that right now you know on top of it I feel like if I'm gonna hunt the river I definitely need some goose floaters and all I have right now are two dozen silhouettes um, and you know that doesn't work on the river I can make that work around the edges of ponds I can make it work in fields I can do that and you know my duck setup is nothing but floaters independent, independently rigged floaters because like I only ever was taught the old school way I'm definitely about to switch to Texas rigs and stuff to just completely change up like how I do things because I'm doing things all wrong whenever it comes to how I carry my gear and everything. Like, uh, we don't have 
versa like back and forth like you know what I'm saying but like or even somebody that doesn't want to create content but like will film here and there like help carry gear into the blind like anything like anything just somebody to hunt with like I miss being able to bullshit in the blind like being able to like joke around talk you know discuss things in the blind like, that. That's why I do these video logs so I can get discussions from other people. Sometimes I literally feel like I'm talking to myself. <sighs> but with that being said, to the guys, like if you're watching, you came from TikTok or you even didn't come from TikTok, if you came from Instagram, something like that. You know, I've gotten mad support. Like people in comments that are like, "Hey, I'll sell, send you my old decoys. What's your address?" You know, blah 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 blah. And I'm weird, I don't respond to that stuff much because, like, I feel uncomfortable accepting gifts. Like, hey, there's a couple more teeth sitting down in there that you can't see because of the angle now. I'm definitely trying, I definitely used to hunt that property with my uncle whenever I was a kid. Um, I haven't gotten to ask about it now as an adult because I don't even know if it's the same owners or anything. It's been, like, over 10 years since I've hunted in there. Um, but that. Uh, but that spot used to hold a whole lot of little puddle ducks and then they would get like little pairs of geese pairs, triples, and like just little little groups, small groups they'll go in there and sit down that little run but yeah back to what I'm saying um, I feel really weird accepting gifts and stuff like that from people like if somebody like offers to like do something for me for free because of like some of my past life um, I I automatically assume that there's ulterior motives like if you're offering to do something nice for me it means you want something from me and right now like I'm trying to say like I'm struggling financially like bad in my own personal life but I'm still here trying to provide content for y'all. Just gonna point that out here. I'm trying to balance it all out. And it's a struggle. Like I'm trying to make do with what I got. And it's a struggle, especially right now. Like it's, we got three weeks till Christmas and that's rough as a dad. Um, so like, I'm gonna leave this in like, here I don't even I feel like this video probably won't even get but like maybe five views but if you are one of the fans from TikTok or uh, anywhere or you just support what I'm doing here 
because like in all honesty like I've said like my past experience is my past life like I got away from the hunting and fishing stuff for like a good good little chunk of my like early adult life because I got into the wrong stuff and it steered me away from this stuff and now that I've gotten back into it like I've picked it back up I I regret it so much like I regret getting out of this and getting into that stuff so like honestly like I'm gonna put it out there here on YouTube like my main goal at this point is if I can inspire like any young sportsmen out there whether it be deer hunting turkey hunting duck hunting goose hunting coyote hunting anything honey or it's fishing um whatever species of fish you want to target like whatever like or you just want to make content you just want to post stuff if i can inspire just one young person out there to pick up a hobby like this stuff or like get into this like they pick up a duck call and start recording themselves or like they start recording themselves fishing and like just stick to that and they never you know they never pick up like those bad habits those like life-changing things that like are really horrible if they stay all away from all the bad stuff because they see me doing this being dumb being like ridiculous here on youtube tiktok wherever like i've done something right like, if it's just one kid out there that goes, hey, i seen this guy T.Y. Outdoors do it, and I'm going to do it too, and this is, looks like a lot of fun, and hey, this is a lot of fun, this is what I want to do the rest of my life, and just stick with this, and like, you know, some dude comes up to them, hey, hey, I got this, man, you should try this, this is pretty awesome, and they're like, nah, nah, I'm good. Like, I got this going on, I'm trying to, you know... Like, no lie, I've been out places fishing and have people walk up, like, random dudes just walk up and be like, hey, man, you trying to cop this? Like, bro, I'm staying here fishing. I'm, what? Like, which, hey, man, I bet you he, he, I, at the same time, I bet you there's guys that are like, yeah, man, let me get that. No, like, so I definitely ran out of storage there and had to stop and, like, empty out some storage in my phone and everything. So, but back where I think it cut out, like, if I can inspire any kid to pick up a duck call, goose call, any game call, turkey call, or a fishing rod, or, you know, whatever, instead of, like, ending up in a trap house somewhere, like, that's what I aim to do. That's my main goal here. You know, obviously, I love hunting. So, I mean, and fishing. So, it, you know, it, it's fun for me. You know. But, at the same time, like, since I have, like, 1,200 people, I think it's more than that now, watching me on TikTok do this stuff, I figure I'm going to try and use it for good. And, like I said, I don't like gifts. I don't like handouts and stuff. Like, they make me uncomfortable. If you support what I'm doing and you want to help out or anything, um, shoot me a direct message on Instagram, um, on TikTok, wherever you know me from, and, uh, like, just get a hold of me, reach out, let's talk, like, like I said though, I really don't have much to give in return, like, I can give you a shout out, like, somewhere, something like that right now, um, Maybe send you a free decal or something, which, I mean, ain't shit, but it's what I got right now. Whatever. I'd greatly appreciate it. Like, honestly, like, you probably, like, I've already, like, teared up because guys are, like, trying to send me their old decoys and stuff on TikTok. Like, that's awesome. Like, I, wow. I never expected that kind of support. Like, this, like, originally it just started out as boredom. But... Yeah, I don't even know what to title this YouTube video right now because originally I was just going to drive around and document my scouting and it turned into all this. Like, So if you have watched this the whole way through, I greatly appreciate it. 
I greatly appreciate all the support, support, views, comments, even if they're negative comments, like, hey, thanks. Thanks, hater, because you're still getting me good statistics. Um, like, if you want to see me do more of this, if, like, you have ideas of other things I can try to do, like, as content, like, besides just my little stuff, my little discussions and whatnot, um, definitely get a hold of me. Um, if you're somebody that's semi-local and you want to get together and, like, try and make content together, like, definitely reach out, get a hold of me. Like, I'm all for that. Um, but, yeah. Basically, like, I'm just trying to, like, basically, like, encourage the next generation to just live their life and have fun in a healthy, productive, positive way. And, yeah. So if you agree with that, that's what's up. If you're a fan, I appreciate it. Um, I don't even like calling people fans, but I've got people that are messaging me calling themselves fans, and I'm like, like, I ain't nobody. I really am not nobody. Like, I'm not a professional, I'm no expert, I just, I'm a guy who likes to hunt and fish, and I like to record myself doing it. I like to make it fun, I like to change it up, you know. But yeah. Those geese back there were the only geese I've seen so far. I know there's more in the area, I just can't find them. And I'm running out of storage again, so, um that being said i'm gonna cut this video for short um please like and follow or subscribe i forgot i'm not on tiktok or instagram um if you are on tiktok and instagram i'm under t-y-t-e-t-e-e-w-h-y -E 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 under slash outdoors on both um go follow me there show your support there message me reach out like i'm down for all that um i love talking about hunting if you just want to message me just to bullshit about hunting and tell me about your scouting and stuff i love that you know we can talk um hit me up um yeah thanks for listening now i gotta edit this these two videos together fun stuff Hopefully, I will have more content directly, too. I'm going to try and do more with the YouTube. But again, I'm signing off. Catch you next time. Catch me on TikTok. Catch me on Instagram.